Okay, this is a continuation of the earth ground uh, experiment with the CFL, the uh, modified CFL that we've been working on. And uh, today I'm going to show a, a, a basic antenna with a ground wire that's going into the ground right over there. And what I found out about um, stray electricity in the house and high voltage electricity coming off of these two CFL units that uh, light up this, the modified CFL and what it does to your readings as far as what you uh, ob observe. I went away from diodes and went to a straight uh, bridge rectifier. I, f I decided that what was coming in off the ground in the antenna um, was some sort of an AC, uh, I believe, because when I put it through the bridge rectifier it, it worked quite well. So the ground comes in through there, and then this is the antenna wire going into there. And then coming off down here, it goes into the meter. Let's me see what's happening as far as voltages are concerned. Okay, now I'm going to plug in the uh, ground wire right here. And we immediately see a voltage on the meter. And that's just the ground wire hooked up to the bridge rectifier without the antenna. Now the antenna, I'm going to connect the antenna here now. And now i got uh, more voltage coming in. So I've got a, a plus coming off of the uh, antenna and then a negative coming off of the, um, the ground. However, I believe this is AC is what's happening. It's alternating current. So it doesn't really matter which way you hook this up. It's still going to come in that way. Now what I'm going to do is take this outside and show... Uh, show what happens to the readings as I go outside. It's very hard to do. Okay, now that just went to zero, almost zero. If I touch the pi 10, then I get voltage off of it. But that's outside, and you can see there's nothing happening here. It's just pretty much just nothing. I come back in the house, and I'm going to start picking up voltages. I found out even if I go over to the wall here, I'll pick up voltages off the wall. This is near the light plug here, and I'll get uh, voltage readings on this antenna right off the wall of the house. And this is what threw me off, was I was picking up stray voltage from the house, and that was giving me a false reading on what was actually happening on this. Now here's the real interesting part. There's, uh, there's the voltage uh, dancing around here, inside here, with nothing going on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this lunchbox uh, CFL unit that puts out high voltage to make the modified CFL go. Now watch this meter. There she goes. And that's with that light on. I'll turn it off, turn it on, and see what it looks like. It goes down, and I'll turn this on, it goes up. And this is coming through the air to this Pi 10. Now watch when I put the Pi 10 on top of the lunch box. It goes off scale. Now I'm going to turn this to a higher scale. It goes up to 30 some odd volts, depending on where I have this on there and everything. But uh, yeah, this is um, this little antenna was very telling as far as what was actually happening on this uh, ground and antenna situation. Now, on the other box over here, this is the little one that runs off the 555 timer. Um, there's the meter right now, it's showing almost nothing. I'll turn this on and see if I put this over there I get I get more but not as much so I'm going to turn it to another scale here okay that's what's coming off of the uh, the bulb there let me see if I wave this back around here you'll see what's coming off of that bulb so anyway this was a very interesting experiment for this um, ground and antenna circuit is to do with the lunch box. Very, very difficult to tell exactly what's going on, but uh, we'll have to be really careful about 
uh, coming to any conclusions because of the stray electricity in the house and uh, electricity that's coming off of these uh, high voltage um, CFL units. Anyway, that's the latest.